I want to give you a quick overview of what it is to work with gradient mesh, what a gradient mesh is, how you can start it, and how you can kind of work with it. You can see that I've got a character out here that is composed of a bunch of what are called mesh objects, as well as some other shapes. Mesh objects are, know, they're objects that are separate. Let me go and dig in here for a second to my hand. You'll see that each object out here can have a gradient mesh applied to it. So a gradient mesh is a, a really cool way to apply a gradient. <laughs> so you just go in and you can create a bunch of uh, lines and points, and each point can have a different transparency. That's new in CS5 and Illustrator, or a different color if you want. So we can tell it how to con contour the color along the path if we want to, which is really cool. So what I want to do is, like I said, just kind of get you started here. So I'm going to make a new document, and I'll create the egg shape for my head, which is pretty true. I'll just draw it in ellipse, let's say. Now there's a couple ways to get started. You can either fill it with a color and then use the mesh tool over here on the tools panel to be able to add mesh points and, you know, how, tell it how to actually create the gradients. Or we can add a color to this thing and just convert it to a gradient mesh object. That's what I'm going to do. So I'll come over to the swatches panel and I'll just fill it with a color. Let's say some color for my face, which is way off. I have to make a new one. I'll leave the stroke on there for the moment and come up to object, create gradient mesh, and it allows you to change the number of rows, the number of columns, and add mesh points out here. You're going to see it throws these lines out here for us. Now, we can take each one of these mesh anchor points, select them, and move them, or change the color on them. Or even in CS5, we can change the opacity on them, which is awesome. Now, the appearance here just says, let's make it flat so I can go out and pick whatever colors I want. Let's go to center or to edge, which means basically go to white on the center or the edge, and we can change the highlight, you know, how much white we want. Now I'll click OK to that. I'll zoom in a bit here. Let me move over. And what I want to do then is go out and edit it. So we can edit it either with the direct selection tool or with the mesh tool. Now with the direct selection tool, if I just click on one of the points out here, I can move it, do what I want. I can also come to my swatches and click and apply a color. If I click and drag that little anchor point, like I said, we can kind of move that wherever we'd like. And you got to be careful because you're going to start to see that you can change the way this actually creates the, uh, the transitions, I guess you could say, from one color to the next. So if an anchor point, point gets too close to another point, you'll start to see that you get a drop off here. It's, it's kind of like a cutoff. So we want a smoother transition. We can pull it a little bit further away. Now we can select whole groups or, or grids of points here. If you guys click inside of one of these little uh, rectangles, the four corner points get selected. So if I click in the middle there, and I change the color, we can affect the whole area, which is pretty cool. Now with those selected, we can also, like I said, in Illustrator CS5, we can change the color, and we can change the opacity. So I'll say like 30% or something like that. Let me draw another circle and stick it behind over here, and you'll see exactly what's going on. So we have transparency on that, which is pretty cool. It's pretty awesome. Anyway, you're going to take time, you guys, to go in and learn to manipulate this. If you want to be able to add colors or transparency, you can use the direct selection tool. If you want to move these lines, you want to do different things that, you can also use the direct selection tool, but I suggest using the mesh tool for that kind of thing. So here's what I mean. If I click on the mesh tool, come out to one of the points, you'll see that we get a plus first of all. And if I click, I can add a whole nother direction set of lines here in an anchor point. If I want to, I can also get rid of those. If I hold on Alt on Windows, Option on Mac, and hover over the point, I'll see a minus. I can click to get rid of it. If I click and drag, I can drag just like I can with the direct selection tool. But what's different here, let me undo a couple steps, is if I click and drag and I hold down the shift key, I can literally just move these points along the line if I want to, up or down, which is pretty cool. So that way you can you know, transpose, do what you need to do, get it to look the way you want it to. Now the gradient mesh, like I said, this mesh tool can... Add points, subtract points. You can move points by holding the shift key, dragging them along. You can add other points if we want to. Now, you got to be careful, you guys, because if you go to add points, typically what it winds up doing is using the settings you guys have set out here, the swatch or the fill selected, and the opacity. So you might want to set that up first. So if you take a look over here at the final character, let me just zoom in a bit. You'll see the hand. I know it's a little tricky to see here on the video, but let me get in here. I'm going to double-click to get to the uh, actual group. You'll see what I did. So I went in and created these contour lines, 
And I just went to each one of these points and changed the color on them. So I just picked a different color, went out there, changed the opacity, did what I need to do, moved them wherever I wanted them to go. And you will find also, you guys, that it gets a little tricky when you start working with these direction lines. you got to be careful. You can get out of, out of hand really quick. Anyway, that's just a quick intro to working with the gradient mesh. Let me back it up here, zoom out, and I'll get it out of there. The gradient mesh can be a great tool for you guys to work with in Illustrator. A nice way to add a little bit more realism to an image or to, to something you guys are working on as well.